Well, now to New York City politics. Today's the day we learn which city departments will be hit the hardest by budget cuts that Mayor Eric Adams says will be, quote, painful. The cuts, he says, were unavoidable due to the migrant crisis. Let's get you down to the newsroom where Morgan Mackay has more on the budget announcement happening later today. Morgan. Yes, Chris, the city's budget director is going to be announcing 5% budget cuts for all city agencies in about an hour or so. And this is not the first round of budget cuts we've seen so far this year due to the ever-growing migrant crisis. But this time around, these cuts are going to affect the NYPD and the FDNY. According to sources, the Adams administration is planning to cut the NYPD's next police academy class as part of these budget cuts. This academy freeze comes as the NYPD is already struggling to replace the nearly 3,000 officers who retired or quit since 2019. NYPD PBA President Patrick Hendry said in a statement, quote, this is going to turn the NYPD staffing crisis into a public safety disaster. In addition to the NYPD, the city is looking at slashing migrant spending by about 20 percent, will look to scale back sanitation litter basket pickups and cut over Overtime spending at the FDNY. New York City public schools will also see reduced funding for pre K and 3K. The city has already canceled a class of 250 incoming school safety agents. When asked about this on Tuesday, Mayor Eric Adams emphasized that these cuts are going to hurt. This is, you know, this is all my time in government. Of this is probably one of the most painful ex exercises I've gone through. And, you know, when we look at uh, around police, what the numbers of our police officers are going to be, uh, and how we've done so well in dropping crime in our city, when we look at the school safety agents, uh, when we look at some of the other initiatives that we're doing, uh, that, uh, you know, it's going, to, it's going to be extremely painful for New Yorkers. And that is why we continue to say we need help. And these are not the only budget cuts coming, Chris. The Adams administration has also warned city agencies that they should brace for an additional two rounds of 5% budget cuts early next year, totaling another 10%. If the city does not receive more state or federal aid to help with the migrant crisis. Chris. All right, Morgan, thank you very much.